Okay, so here is a quick demo of the D&D 5e macros plugin. Uh, the D&D 5e macros plugin uh, aims to implement the 5e rules within Tailspire. Um, it will definitely be a work in progress, but as I add features, I will uh, release them. So currently we have the ability to attack and for the attacked uh, creature to automatically adjust um, hit points to reflect the damage. So in our scenario here, we have a sorcerer that has gotten into a fight uh, with a gorilla over a pig. So we're going to select the sorcerer to say that that's the attacking creature. We are going to right click on the gorilla and then select the new attacks uh, uh, menu selection. Uh, eventually, I'm hoping to be able to get rid of the old um, core attacks menu, but um, that isn't working at the moment. So I select the attacks menu. I get my uh, selections. Uh, these are selections based on what I filled in on my uh, character sheet. So this character has uh, a, a short sword attack, a short sword attack with sneak, a long bow, and a long bow sneak. So we'll uh, assume that the sorcerer got the drop on the gorilla, and we're going to use our short sword and sneak. So here we can see uh, the attack was uh, successful, and we can see how much damage was um, uh, inflicted by the attack, and then how much damage was received. Uh, we can do that again. Let's do a long one sneak. And you can see here that we missed. There was an animation instead of the funk in the head. Um, the gorilla kind of did a twirl to avoid the, um, uh, the attack, uh, representing a dodge or something like that. And let's do a... So again, we can see uh, the attack. Uh, we can see here that the, the gorilla had uh, damage resistance against piercing. So uh, the inflict shows how much uh, damage was actually rolled, and the received showed how much damage was actually received. If you want to actually see the um, rolls, you can uh, go open your chat, and everything is summarized in the chat, including the breakdown of the rolls. So here um, there was uh, one more attack for six, which was a miss, a uh, short uh, sword attack 15, which was a hit, and we can see that John inflicted uh, or would have inflicted 19 points of damage. Here is the breakdown so he rolled uh, a 5 on a d6 and added 4 to it for a total of 9. And we can see that the, uh, the goblin uh, took only 4 points of damage, uh, that would be the 9 multiplied by half because he has a resistance to piercing. And that's pretty well it. Uh, we can also see that um, the hit points have gone down uh, on the victim uh, accordingly. And um, uh, so that is being done automatically. Uh, we can also demonstrate that uh, because the gorilla is an NPC, um, it doesn't show us things like the AC or how many hit points the gorilla has left. Um, because players wouldn't necessarily know that. Um, but if we do the attack in the reverse, if the gorilla attacks, that's right. If the gorilla attacks, and let's say it's going to use a spear, that was a miss. We can see here that um, in reverse, it was showing, for example, the armor class uh, for the player. Um, the player would obviously know that. Um, but it's a, it's a reminder there um, because that would be um, knowledge that the player would have. Uh, similarly, uh, if the attack was actually successful, wait, I'm doing that in the wrong order. Um, if the attack was actually successful, which this guy is apparently not a very good hitter. the same thing here. There we go. Um, so we can see here that it also summarizes 
the amount of hit points uh, that's left, um, so the player does not need to go and uh, check this way. Again, that's available for the player, um, but it's not shown on an NPC because the players wouldn't know how much an NPC has in, term, in terms of life. And that's pretty well it for now.